name is Lungi Letabete and welcome back to my channel. Um, today's video is one that has been very, very, very long anticipated. After I posted my apartment tour, I did not include my bathroom renovation tour. So this video is going to be covering my main bathroom. This is the primary bathroom and it is looking spectacular. So let me take you through it. <laughs> So let's start with the inspiration for the bathrooms. I really wanted to carry on the theme of that modern but very, very classical look. And so um, the influences and the types of finishes that I picked were primarily because of that. Now the rest of the apartment has paneling on the walls and other different like features that really pull in that modern Parisian um, st uh, school. And so with the bathroom, I wanted to carry that on specifically with the tiles, the stone that I used, as well as the finish on the vanity cabinet. Um, the initial bathroom reno, it's gone through like two stages. The initial stage was uh, a really horrible brown tile. It had a molding that ran across the entire bathroom and the layout of the bathroom had a bathtub an inset bathtub, a small shower that had a pull-out door. It was really uncomfortable to like shower in. And then the toilet was like at the corner. You kind of had to shimmy in between the vanity and the shower to get to the toilet. So it really didn't work. And the first um, step in renovating the bathrooms was to fix the plan of the, the layout plan of the entire bathroom. So I did away with the bathtub. I'm not someone that, um, uses a bathtub every single day I probably like use a bathtub once or twice a year so it was really important for me to have a really comfortable shower because that's what I use day to day um, and so I moved the shower from where it was initially and used the space where the bathtub was to put a really beautiful long walk-in shower with a shower seat. It was really important for me to have a shower seat because I want to have like the leisure of being able to sit down even though I'm still using a shower, when I'm shaving my legs, when I'm applying like a body scrub. I want to be able to chill. Like sometimes you know when you use the shower and you're so tired or you're not feeling well, you want to sit down but you still want to shower and you don't want to take a bath? Like, it was that kind of situation that influenced the, um, um, the, uh, the idea to go with a walk-in shower. The tile that I had chosen originally was this beautiful um, Galala sandblasted tile. It's a marble tile. It has really beautiful finishes on it um, that make it look really antique. But the problem with this tile was that it was too thick. So because of that, it didn't flow well into the rest of the bedroom and you could see that the tile was too thick compared to the rest of the ground level and I didn't like that. So although this was really expensive and I still love this particular tile, it wasn't the best choice for the bathrooms, which brought me to the change in um, tile floor tiles to a mosaic tile. And this is the finished that I, the tile that I ended up going with. I really love it. It's still giving very classic, um, very uh, French style, you know, style. The main, the main inspiration for the bathtubs was um, the Alphen Boutique Hotel in Constantia, Cape Town. I really, really love that boutique hotel and I wanted the bathroom to feel as though I have that boutique hotel experience every single day. Um, now initially, because I had gone with this type of stone uh, tile, the walls were also didn't have a tile on them. Now this is the initial design. The walls didn't have a, a, a tile on them and because of that they were just like painted. I'd gone from a um, creme crete type of look 
to just going with a, pla a plain paint because the creme creed look really was too textured for my liking. And then with the change of the tile, it meant that I had to change the rest of the walls of the bathroom. And I ended up going with this beveled um, subway tile. Because I have gold tapway in the bathrooms, uh, the black subway tile with a white grout was really the best complement to those gold um, tapway. And so it was, it came out so beautiful and I really, really like it. I decided to only put, because it's such a small bathroom, I decided to only place the uh, black tile um, in the shower area. And I think it came out amazing. Um, and because I wanted to maintain the walk-in shower feel, I really just put one glass partition to divide the shower from the vanity so the vanity um, cabinet doesn't get ruined. So with the vanity um, cabinet, I decided to go with a beautiful shaker style uh, satin cabinet, um, white, so that it works with the rest of the space but the shaker style because i really wanted to continue that uh, traditional feel i didn't want the space to look too modern i'm generally not someone that likes spaces that look too modern so i like it to look a bit aged and that's also what influenced the brassware that i used with the cabinet as well and the stone that i went with on the top is a marble stone now the trick to incorporating marble into your space but in an affordable way is instead of a marble slab you can just use a marble tile especially in a space that doesn't need that big of a slab and so I used a marble tile and it came out beautifully the edging I just got my uh, contractor to just smoothen it out so that it has like a smooth feel on the edges and it came out beautiful um, now because the space is small and I'd already made it smaller by making the shower so humongous it was important to me for me to play with vertical space and I did that by incorporating a really beautiful long mirror that really made use of that vertical space now this mirror if you've watched my apartment tour you would recognize it from my office area I moved it from my office area and I placed it in the bathroom and I literally feel as though it was made for that bathroom it was the perfect size and it really like was the perfect size especially in the length considering the size of the vanity stone and so it worked beautifully now if you compare the space especially the the toilet area to how it looked like before is the wall has been built out just one uh, literally the length of one block um and i've built that out because i wanted to shift the toilet from where it was to where the previous shower was and number two, I wanted to conceal the piping of the toilet. So I don't like the look of exposed piping. It's also just, it looks bad. It's difficult to clean. It's just not a good overall look. So um, I used that opportunity to just like build it higher and use that ledge to then place decorative um, pieces there. And I think it's like such, it adds beautiful dimension to the space. It gives it like a different opportunity for styling as well. Now looking back, it would have been great to um, use a wall hung toilet instead of a toilet that is placed directly on the floor. But I had already purchased the toilet way before the renovation started, lost the slips, there was no opportunity for me to return it and it's fine because at the end of the day it is a property that i own but want to eventually sell so i don't want to then invest too much into the space but i want to invest enough for there to be a big effect and a big change all right so then the other part of the um the bathroom renovation was incorporating skirting as well as a beautiful cornice. I wanted something that wasn't too detailed but was detailed enough to feel like it was well thought out as well as um, a skirting that was thick enough to feel as though it's a bit more luxurious than your normal just like singular really thin five 
centimeter um, skirting. So it was great for me to be able to incorporate a skirting that was um, a little thicker. And I really wanted to incorporate skirting because it then gave it an, a really beautiful finished look as opposed to leaving the tile and um, leaving that space where the tile and the wall connect as it is. Um, you can have a really, really good tiler but they, it won't give it as good of a finish as it does when there's skirting added there to just finish it off. Um, so it came out really beautiful. I also really wanted to speak about, like this is, I never in my life thought I'd ever get excited about a toilet roll holder, but I really, really love the one that I bought from TIC Bathrooms because it has a really beautiful like stone that then connects with the same type of stone that I used on the vanity. And that little stone piece on top um, is for you to be able to place your cell phone, which is quite convenient because I know I'm not the only one that goes to the bathroom with their cell phones or even uses the toilet with their cell phones. Ugh, disgusting, but we move, okay? Um, so it came out really pretty and I really love it. Specifically with the tapware that I used, I wanted to make sure that I get the right gold. So it's a, when you go to TIC bathrooms, you'll see that they have a brass gold and they have a, a gold gold and then a brushed gold. So the brushed gold for me looks a bit too clinical. It looks a bit too modern. It's definitely not to my taste, especially considering the rest of the features and the type of like inspiration that I wanted the bathroom to uh, reflect. And so it was really important to me to pick the exact right feature. And the great thing about their specific website, which I appreciated, is that they had all the other elements as well. So like a toilet roll holder, um, the tapware, the stoppers for the sinks as well, um, the shower traps, the actual shower, shower head and the faucet as well. So it worked out beautifully. And I'm glad that I, I didn't have that big of a problem with like making sure sure that things are matched well and yeah guys that's pretty much the entire bathroom i hope that you enjoy it and i hope that um you love the finished look i am so obsessed with it I love it so much. I wake up literally every day and I just stand there um, wondering what's happening. Um, but yeah, as you can see, end of the video, load shedding has hit in South Africa, but I hope you enjoy the video nonetheless. Mwah. <laughs>